Kolombal arano lugu taagere ya haweni da Oliver Chao, tartanka do rashada meyer ka magala da Toronto hadda kalinta kubad kuhu gamine isa musharixin ta kale. Aya lagu qabtay magala da Toronto, waxana su agasi mekulan ka si aasha sharafta ah, afarta shirkado de tagasi da ugu waween gobal ko Ontario, o kala ah Coop Cups, Crown Taxi, Royal Taxi, ya shirkad da Emery Mobility and Transportation. Waxana shirka si sobu xu da fiyey jaliyad da Somali da e Toronto ya qar kamida jaliyad da ha kale. عبد القادر محمد عبد الله سي او جي جنرال مانجر كاسد احدى الشركات دي تاكاسيدا كوب كابس كراون تاكسي اي رويال تاكسي او اي سومالي بدن او شاقيسو ايا لها اغاسم كاكولان كا عشا شرف تاتا سو عبد القادر محمد عبد الله اركي هويني دا اولي بي چاو اينا تاهي شخصي سيدا اولا شاقين دون تجالية دا سومالي دا او اي دباتوين بدن كا هستان قريها شاقوين كا اي حاكمين تا شروع دا شركة دا بدن اي تاكاسيدا او ان وح بدن او حقوق ان كاسنين I like to tell you that we send a letter to the top uh, six candidates for mayor. And we asked them, simple request, fair treatment, fair regulations, and if they win, uh, are they wishing to listen to us or work with us? We only got one response from Olivier. Why is it fair that the Uber charged this dollar amount and the taxi charges amount, shouldn't it be equal? Equal paying feel, right? Equality, because this is what Canada is all about, that there needs to be equality. So I would like to call up the former chairman of TAC, Taxi Advisory Committee, Mr. Sajid Mughal. Thank you. impacting countless lives. I'm sure you remember when Olivia fought for language programs to help newcomers integrate better. Or when she championed affordable housing so that every family, regardless of their income, could have a place they can call home. Each effort, each policy was testament to Olivia's unwavering commitment to making Toronto a city that truly embraces diversity. My friends, over the year, Olivia has stood by us and we know practically when she was a councillor 20 plus years she was in the council and her door was, doors were always open for the taxi industry. I would like to call upon a uh, very well-known community activist, Khatija Ali, to say a few words. Khatija Ali. My name is Khatija Ali. I am a doctor by profession, and I have been living in this country and working for 32 years. It's a very encouraging to see a person like you, Olivia, with a lot of experience, running to be the mayor of our city, Toronto. It will inspire many citizens of, of Toronto and will strengthen the diversity of the city of Toronto. Diversity is our strength. It's written there in the municipality. I would like... My first concern is the strengthening of the population health and safety profile of the city population which worsened since the pandemic. Although a lot of progress has been made, the need for the policy of no one left behind is still critical for our city. And our health are homelessness, mental health people, and the safety in the transit. We are aware and have our concern and the safety of our subway, especially women are concerned to take the subway during the evening time. Madam Chow, the status quo is not anymore an option. There is a need for a new way of thinking and addressing this issue in a different way. Tell us what's your strategy 
and what is your priority on these issues. And we wish you all the best on June 26. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Khatija Ali. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Roy Tebari, who is the president of TANMA, the Etobicoke North Multicultural Association. Thanks for being here. Uh, I would like to call upon Afia Sharif, who is Harari Ethiopian Community Chairperson. Please, thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I didn't prepare to make any speech, even though all your job is good luck. We support you. Uh, I have a business, so I want you in Scarborough. Um, so I, would, I wish you the best, and we're going to support you. Or our community, our community is going to support you. So good luck. And thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Afia. I, I don't think the evening would be complete if we did not hear some words from a man who always looked for ways to improve this industry for customers and drivers alike. This gentleman started his journey as a cab driver and through his hard work he became the CEO of the largest cooperative of taxi drivers in Ontario. And I am talking about no other than Abdul Qadir Mahmood. Please come up. Thank you, everyone. It's good to see you all, brothers, sisters, neighbors, colleagues. Uh, thanks for coming down tonight for this special multicultural uh, event. Uh, happy Father's Day. And also, I would like to thank my uh, co-sponsors, organizers of this event, uh, Sajid, Raza, and Ikram. Uh, thank you. And Olivia, thank you for coming down uh, to join us this evening as well. Uh, I think we gather uh, this evening to celebrate this multicultural event and as well to talk about things that matter to us, uh, things that affect our community, uh, our industry, as well as our city. And what is a better way um, to do it, to have this discussion, than having the, uh, the best candidate for mayor in the house? Right? Yes. So, I'd like to tell you that we sent a letter to the top uh, six candidates for mayor. And we asked them, simple request, fair treatment, fair regulations, and if they win, uh, are they wishing to listen to us or work with us? We only got one response from Olivier. So the other thing is, uh, I had the opportunity uh, to talk to Olivia privately and had a discussion with her, and so is my colleagues. And we really liked what she said. And we thought about inviting her to the community so everyone can hear from her directly without the uh, media filtration, right? So uh, we've seen politicians come and go over the years. Uh, make promises, break their promises, use us as a stepping stone to get to where they're going, and don't look back, right? But Olivia is different. And I will... On, on, on behalf of the Etobicoke North 
a multicultural community, taxi industry, my Somali community. I would like to welcome now, everything was said earlier, to please help me give hand to Olivia Chow to address the room. Thank you very much. Well, good evening, my old friends and my new friends. To, good evening to all of you. Yes. To all the fathers, happy Father's Day. Yeah. And speaking about father, my dad came to Canada when I was 13. He was a teacher and a school superintendent back in Hong Kong. But at that time, there was no teaching jobs. So he couldn't find a teaching job. He spoke English because he came from Hong Kong. So he tried driving taxis. I found a taxi license with his photo in it and a card. So he got his license. But unlike all of you, my dad didn't know how to find anywhere. He was always getting lost. And he couldn't, he couldn't hear the dispatcher because his English was British English, not Canadian English. And when the dispatcher go really fast, you know, Daniels, Daniels, you know, he couldn't understand it. He was always getting lost. It was really difficult. And then he, he, he didn't make it very well. He tried driving, he then tried to deliver Chinese food. But back in those days, there wasn't a lot of Chinese food, so that didn't work out. It was hard. But this is the immigrant story. We come to Canada for our children, to make a better life for our children. And my mom at that time, with one income, she decided to just go and work in the hotel as a maid, even though she was a teacher before, it didn't matter. She worked hard. That's another immigrant story. We work hard. We work long hours. We save up for our kids so they have a better future. But how are we gonna save up for our kids for a better future if the industry doesn't work too well with the rise of Uber? It's so unfair, right? The Somali mothers taught me that if there's a crack in the sky, if we get together, we can heal it. Yes, we can do that. Yes, that, yes, if we come together, we can heal the crack in the sky. That's what I learned. That's what drove me through all this time when I'm running for office, when the day when I launch my campaign, your saying taught me and kept me strong, kept me being hopeful, kept me knowing that together we are stronger. And that's what we are. We are stronger together. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. But there are a lot of cracks. There are cracks in the industry. Why is it fair that the Uber charge this dollar amount and the taxi drive charges this amount? Shouldn't it be equal? Equal paying feel, right? Equality, because this is what Canada is all about, that there needs to be equality. The other thing is this. If you flood the market with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds nonstop of Uber licenses, then everybody loses, right? Everybody loses because there are too many. When there's too many drivers, whether you are Uber drivers or taxi drivers, if there are too many, it won't work. It means that you can work very long 
hours and not going to make ends meet. And life is already really unaffordable now. Back in the days when my mother, earning one income, we were able to rent a two-bedroom apartment in St. Jamestown, and there's still money to pay the rent and feed the kids, right? Me, the kid, I eat a lot, ate a lot then. Uh, so now, it's, if you don't have a house, the rent is so high, yeah? It's so hard. It is just not affordable, which is why I need to build affordable housing. Okay. Yes, we need to build affordable housing. For 10 years, a whole decade, the city stopped building housing. And you just have all the private industry building housing and no housing being built by the government. Guess what happens? When, light, when it's not balanced, then the rent goes sky high. So government have a role to play whether it's building affordable housing, whether it's providing good service for your kids, get the waiting pool to open, get the libraries to open seven days a week. Government have a role to play. And government definitely has a role to play to deal to help the taxi industry. We need to do it. We have to do it soon. It is so unfair when you drive taxi a long, many, many long years and you want to retire with dignity, retire with a pension, with, retire with some money. Then you feel secure. Then you don't have to worry. But how are you going to retire when the plates or when the whole system is not working? So we need to fix that too, okay? So there are problems. And I heard that there's a report that's supposed to come out and never came out. And years, months, months, years it hasn't come out. So the city hall just stand idling by and not do anything. That's not who I am. I do not stand idling by. I work hard. As immigrant, I was taught by my mom and dad to work hard, to work for other people, to serve the community. My late husband and I always believe in the same thing, service, service for others, make life better for other people, right? Because when one person have good life, when the industry have a good life, all of us, the entire city of Toronto will benefit. And that's what we need. So, you're right, status quo does not work. Absolutely not work. We need safer streets. How are we gonna do that? Bring the workers back. Because TDC was cutting services. They're raising fares. And when the, when the workers are not at the platform, then anything could happen. Then you don't feel safe anymore. There used to be two. One, tech, one, one person driving the subway cars, the other one is the guard. There used to be two person in, in, the, in the line. Now, in some lines, just one person. So if something is go wrong, no one can do anything because the driver is still driving, right? So, so what the workers themselves tell me at TTC, if you want to keep TTC safe, you know what? Listen to the workers because they know what needs to happen. They are saying, bring us back, bring people back. We can be the eyes and ears and we will keep the system safe. And I believe in the workers because they know what is needed. So that's what we'll do at TTC. Yep, status quo is not going to work. I pledge to work with you. I may make mistakes because no one is perfect. So what we need to do 
is to have a strong committee at City Hall with you as the representative, with you, your voice at City Hall. <laughs> then, as we said, together we are stronger. We can heal the cracks. So let's come together, open up City Hall, have City Hall work for you, and let's create a city together that is more caring, more affordable, safer, where every one of you belong. Are you with me? Yeah. Are we gonna win? Yeah. yeah. Well, I need you to come out to vote. Yes. It's coming down to be really close on that Monday. Not this coming Monday, next Monday. Together, let's do this. We'll win and we will reform the industry together. Thank you so very, very, very much. Thank you very much, brothers. Just to let Olivia now know that I gave my 15 plus year to this industry prior to 2016. My last visit to the city hall was in September council meeting when they passed the Uber bylaws and demolished so many taxi bylaws at that time. That was the day I left the city hall and I did not return to the city hall even for half a minute into the city hall because nobody was there to listen to the cab drivers, to listen to the hardworking person over there. And I'm looking forward and I'm very much hopeful, hopeful that the city hall doors will be open for the taxi industry, for everyone sitting in, in this room. We are hardworking people and we will be back into the city hall after uh, uh, next election when Olivia will be a mayor of city of Toronto. Thank you so much, Olivia. Uh, thank you very much, Olivia. You have inspired us all. You are the mayor of the city, inshallah.
तू जो कहे जीवन भर तेरे लिए मैं गाऊ तेरे लिए मैं गाऊ की तेरे बोलों पे लिखता चला जाऊ लिखता चला जाऊ मेरे जीवन में तुझे जी के जग सारा तू कल मेरे मन को या तूने क्या इशारा रानी क्लाथ रानी आजा तेरा हाथ Or encourage Rani. She's our guest from London, England. Yes. 